during the sacred ritual of Tawaf, an enigmatic occurrence unfolded, shrouded in the mystique that often accompanies such spiritual settings. A woman underwent a transformation, transcending the ordinary realm of human experience and assumed the form of a snake. The sacredness of the Tawaf, typically a reverential act of circumambulating the Kaaba, became the backdrop for this extraordinary event. Does this enigmatic occurrence hold potential connections to divine intervention and the unfolding of God's salvation? Is this snake woman not only in the India myth? Let's join us to find out. This intriguing account transcends the ordinary tropes of mythical transformations, promising an exploration into the essence of this shape-shifting phenomenon. As we delve into the depths of this mysterious tale, it is essential to suspend preconceived notions and embrace the enigma that surrounds the interplay of the spiritual and the mystical. The manifestation of a serpent assuming human form raises profound questions about the nature of reality, spirituality, and the unseen forces that weave through our existence. Uh, today, there is a special statement we would like to share with you about that mysterious incident. This is a message of a cleaning guy named Jamshed Khan, who has dedicated his life to cleaning the Kaaba. As a humble custodian entrusted with the sacred duty of maintaining the sanctity of the Kaaba, I have borne witness to the extraordinary and the mysterious within the hallowed precincts. Greetings to all who are attuned to the sacred revelations and spiritual narratives woven into the fabric of this sacred space. In the sacred act of cleaning, a routine task that becomes a sacred duty within these walls, I have encountered whispers of a phenomenon that defies explanation. It is said that within the veiled mysteries of the Tawaf, a woman once underwent a transformation, her form shifting seamlessly from human to that of a serpent, embodying the mythical figure of the Nagan. This mystifying event, shrouded in the sacred aura of the Kaaba, beckons us to explore the depths of the unseen, where the mystical and the spiritual converge in inexplicable ways. The Nagan, a creature of folklore and myth, assumes a significance that resonates beyond the boundaries of conventional understanding. As the custodian of this sacred space, I cannot help but reflect on the symbolic layers that intertwine with such narratives. The Christian perspective, rooted in its unique theological tapestry, invites contemplation on the parallels and distinctions between spiritual phenomena across different faith traditions. In the tapestry of time that covers the Kaaba, there exists a remembrance engraved in the corridors of my memory, lasting perhaps decades until one night shrouded in mystery. As the guardian of this sacred space, I witness moments that go beyond the ordinary, and this special night remains a mysterious chapter in the annals of the Kaaba's sacred history. Assalamu alaikum, dear friends, as I shed light on a story that beckons us to reflect on the boundaries between the seen and the invisible, the mundane and the mystical. Decades ago, beneath the heavenly dome that covered the Kaaba, a woman clad in a burqa boldly approached with a worried expression. The sound of her cautious footsteps echoed in the sacred precincts as she embarked on the sacred ritual of Tawaf. We did not expect that tonight would open up an extraordinary scene, challenging the world's standards of understanding. In the midst of her opening Tawaf, a sudden outbreak of grief broke the sacred silence. The woman, enveloped in her sacred circumnavigation, began to let out screams of anguish that echoed in the air. As the caretakers rushed to comfort us, a scene took place that left us all in awe and wonder. The woman, still immersed in the sacred dance of Tawaf, underwent a metamorphosis that defied the laws of nature. Her cries, a symphony of both pain and transformation, echoed throughout the sacred grounds. The burqa, once a symbol of her earthly identity, now bears witness to the mysterious unfolding of the Nagan legend. Writhing in a dance of pain and transformation, the woman's earthly form dissolved, giving way to the appearance of a snake, its scales glittering in the moonlight of the Kaaba. As we stood in shared wonder, the serpent, now the embodiment of an ancient mythological force, struggled with equal intensity to the mysterious forces at play. This sacred sight is a testament to the convergence of the mystical and the mundane, a revelation that transcends the boundaries of common understanding. As the mysterious tableau unfolded beneath the enveloping aura of the Kaaba, a palpable sense of urgency filled the sacred air. Moved by a mixture of surprise and concern, we quickly dispatched messengers to approach the transformed woman and gain deeper insights into the mystery that was being revealed. Coming closer, we witnessed a scene that defied all boundaries of rational understanding. What was once a human figure now lies sprawled across the sacred grounds, a large, colorful snake writhing in pain. 
Our senses wavered between fear and anxiety as we observed the creature's physical agony. However, in a moment that blurred the line between the mystical and the earthly, the snake, with its brilliant colors, dissolved into the invisible fabric of the night. The authorities, vigilant guardians of the sacred site, quickly surrounded the mysterious site, seeking to unravel the layers of this puzzling incident. It is in this state of high alert that the veils of mystery are partially lifted. The snake, a creature with both earthly and ethereal dimensions, is revealed to be a Chinese individual who found his way to this sacred space through supposedly improper means. Now, stepping into this narrative from a Christian perspective adds another layer of contemplation. The Christian worldview, deeply rooted in its own set of spiritual beliefs, may interpret such phenomena through the lens of divine providence, supernatural occurrences, or even spiritual warfare. The enigma of a woman transforming into a snake during the sacred tawaf beckons Christians to ponder the mysterious ways through which the spiritual realm intersects with our earthly existence. While divergent in theological foundations, the Christian perspective encourages a reflection on the broader implications of supernatural events, emphasizing the importance of discernment and understanding within the context of one's faith. As viewers, it prompts us to consider the complexities of spiritual narratives and the profound interplay of unseen forces, urging us to seek understanding and wisdom through the prism of our individual faith journeys. In the realm of mystery and spiritual phenomena, the Christian perspective invites contemplation on the divine order that governs the universe and the intricate tapestry of spiritual realities that transcend cultural and religious boundaries. The concept of the Nagan, a shape-shifting serpent or snake, finds intriguing parallels and divergences when explored through the lens of biblical narratives. While the Bible doesn't explicitly mention the existence of shape-shifting serpents in the context of the Nagan, it does contain profound symbolism and narratives involving serpents that evoke thought-provoking connections. In the biblical tradition, the serpent appears prominently in the story of Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis. The serpent in the Garden of Eden is often identified with the devil, tempting Eve to eat from the forbidden tree of knowledge of good and evil. The serpent, however, doesn't undergo a transformation akin to the Nagin but serves as a symbol of temptation, cunning, and the introduction of sin into the world. The parallels emerge when considering the symbolic nature of the serpent in both traditions. In Hindu and other Eastern mythologies, the serpent often embodies transformative powers, shedding its skin as a metaphor for renewal and rebirth. In the biblical narrative, while the serpent is condemned for its role in the fall, it also becomes a symbol of healing and redemption in certain contexts. The biblical connection to serpents takes a fascinating turn in the story of Moses. In the book of Exodus, Moses is instructed by God to create a bronze serpent and place it on a pole. Those who looked upon the bronze serpent were healed from the venomous snake bites that afflicted the Israelites. This act of healing through a serpent alludes to the paradoxical symbolism of the serpent in biblical narratives, from a symbol of temptation to a symbol of healing and redemption. Moreover, the biblical concept of Leviathan, a sea monster or serpent mentioned in various Old Testament texts, adds another layer to the exploration. In Job 41, Leviathan is described as a fearsome creature with impenetrable scales, breathing fire and causing tumult in the waters. The imagery of Leviathan shares some thematic elements with the serpentine symbolism found in Eastern traditions, reflecting the multifaceted nature of serpents across different cultures and religious contexts. While the Nagan concept is deeply rooted in Hindu and Eastern mythologies, the exploration of serpentine symbolism in the Bible invites contemplation on the universal themes of transformation, temptation, and healing. The absence of direct references to shape-shifting serpents in the Bible doesn't diminish the rich tapestry of serpent symbolism found in its pages. As believers and scholars engage with these narratives, they are encouraged to delve into the depths of symbolism, recognizing the potential for shared archetypes and the diverse ways cultures interpret serpentine motifs in their spiritual and mythological landscapes. In essence, the Nagan existence, with its transformative and mystical attributes, prompts an exploration of shared symbolic themes that transcend cultural and religious boundaries. The serpent, whether in Hindu mythology or biblical narratives, serves as a multifaceted symbol, inviting believers to unravel layers of meaning and engage in a dialogue that transcends the specificities of individual traditions. The unfolding of this puzzling event invites reflection on the complexity of spiritual identity and the ability of people of different faiths to enter the sacred space. 
the Christian narrative, replete with tales of spiritual discernment and warfare, emphasizes the need for believers to navigate the mysterious intersections between the seen and the invisible with a spirit of vigilance. Our norm lens urges believers to view such events through the lens of spiritual insight, recognizing the presence of both benevolent and malevolent forces in the complex tapestry of human experience. While acknowledging the diversity of religious beliefs, the Christian perspective promotes a deeper understanding of the spiritual landscapes that take place in the sacred spaces of our world. As we contemplate the fleeting manifestation of a serpent in the sacred precincts of the Kaaba, the Christian worldview encourages believers to approach such mysteries with humility, acknowledging the complex interaction between divine providence and human agency. In this sacred dance of the mystical and the earthly, the Christian perspective beckons believers to remain steadfast in their faith, grounded in eternal truths that transcend the ephemeral manifestations of unknown thing. From our viewpoint, the enigmatic tale of a woman transforming into a serpent during the Tawaf prompts us to consider the broader spiritual implications embedded in such occurrences. The Christian narrative, enriched with its own mystical elements and divine interventions, compels us to explore the intricacies of spiritual realities that transcend the visible and tangible. The mysterious interplay of the supernatural and the earthly, as witnessed within the sacred confines of the Kaaba, invites Christians to ponder the divine order that governs the universe and the role of spiritual forces within our earthly pilgrimage. While acknowledging the theological variances between faith traditions, the Christian perspective encourages a thoughtful examination of the unseen realms, emphasizing discernment and wisdom in interpreting mystical occurrences. In the dance of the mystical and the divine, the Christian narrative fosters a contemplative spirit, urging believers to seek deeper understanding and spiritual insight within the framework of their faith. As we navigate the enigma of the Nayagin within the sacred narratives of the Kaaba, let us embrace the diversity of spiritual experiences and recognize the common thread that binds us all in our quest for the divine. In the tapestry of mystery, where the Nagan's tale intertwines with the sacred rituals of the Tawaf, we are encouraged to approach such narratives with reverence, humility, and a profound acknowledgement of the transcendent mysteries that shape our spiritual journeys. It may not end. In the sacred precincts of the Kaaba, a series of perplexing incidents have unfolded prompting profound contemplation and invoking our point of view to shed light on the mysterious details of these occurrences. The narrative weaves through the delicate balance between the seen and the unseen, offering a glimpse into the mystical dimensions that coalesce within this holy space. If you remember in previous videos, not only did Nagan appear, but Kaaba seemed to have suffered many warnings from Lord about the Second Coming. The symbolic richness and significance embedded in Revelation 11:19 find an intriguing connection to the Nagan incident at the Kaaba. This biblical passage portrays the opening of the Temple of God in heaven, revealing the Ark of the Covenant and ushering in a series of dramatic events, including hailstorms, earthquakes, thunder, and lightning. In the context of the Nagan incident, the reappearance of the Ark of the Covenant holds spiritual resonance representing not only God's covenant with His people, but also serving as a symbol of divine mercy and guidance. The hailstorms, akin to those described in Revelation, take on a dual interpretation. They are divine interventions and signs of judgment. As the Nagan incident unfolds, the hailstorms may be seen as expressions of God's authority and His final judgment. The synchronicity of the Ark's return and the hailstorms aligns with a celestial event, signifying the divine re-establishment of God's presence among His people. The theological perspective underscores that God's true temple is in heaven, emphasizing a spiritual dwelling over a physical one. Moreover, the hailstorms, beyond instruments of judgment, become symbolic indicators of a cleansing process, a purifying force of divine revelation, clearing spiritual impurities and preparing for a renewed connection between God and humanity. The interplay between the Ark of the Covenant, hail storms, and divine judgment suggests a profound alignment of divine presence, revelation, and the unfolding of God's plan. This connection invites believers to reflect on the spiritual significance of these symbols and their potential implications for faith and salvation in the wake of the Nagan incident. In another recent occurrence at the sacred Kaaba, a compelling natural phenomenon transpired, leading to profound contemplation among those present. A sudden hailstorm descended upon pilgrims engrossed in prayer, prompting reflection on its potential implications. The Sunusual event sparked questions about its nature. Was it a mere meteorological incident or a divine sign with deeper significance? 
the uncertainty surrounding its meaning gave rise to contemplations on whether it heralded blessings or foretold impending calamities. The symbolism of the hailstorm finds resonance in biblical narratives, portraying a dual significance as both a harbinger of the end and a symbol of salvation. Drawing from Joshua 10:11, the Bible recounts a divine intervention where God dispatched hailstones to aid the Israelites in their battle against the Amorites. This event illustrates God's power to defeat enemies on behalf of those who faithfully serve him. The biblical narrative emphasizes that God, much like the hail he sent upon Egypt, possesses the authority to save his people and fulfill his promises. Importantly, the mention of hail signifies God's righteous wrath against those who defy his commandments, as seen in the divine retribution against the unrighteous Pharaoh. The biblical narrative reinforces the principle that God safeguards the righteous while administering judgment upon the unrighteous. Hail serves as a symbolic representation of the repentance required to avoid God's judgment, emphasizing obedience and repentance in the divine narrative. Echoing this theme, the book of Ezekiel vividly portrays God's glory through a vision involving hail and fire. In Ezekiel 13 11, 13, hail becomes a warning to those with unstable foundations, prompting repentance and underlining God's grace as the sole source of salvation. This narrative aligns with the biblical tradition where God's judgment, akin to the Great Flood, ushers in blessings after a period of turmoil. Hail, in this biblical context, becomes a metaphor for God's multifaceted role in providing, guiding through challenges, and transforming lives. It serves as a tool for both blessing and punishment, illustrating instances where God's wrath manifests through consequences such as loss of life and property. Within the spiritual realm, persistent thoughts or dreams about hail are interpreted as symbolic messages from God, indicating displeasure and urging believers towards repentance. The repetition of hail-related thoughts or dreams functions as a divine warning, prompting introspection and acknowledgement of shortcomings. This spiritual call to repentance encourages individuals to seek forgiveness and realign with God's will before facing divine judgment. The Bible suggests that proactive prayers for forgiveness and embracing a path of repentance are welcomed by God, emphasizing His forgiving nature and openness to extending mercy to those who genuinely seek it. The human inclination to contemplate the future and seek guidance in Scripture during times of uncertainty is universal. Whether pondering the promise of salvation or contemplating potential apocalyptic scenarios, the Bible serves as a source of profound insights and spiritual truths. The study of hail within the biblical context becomes a means of deepening understanding of God's nature and His intricate relationship with humanity, providing guidance for navigating life's uncertainties. Hail, recurring prominently in biblical narratives, emerges as a powerful symbol intricately woven into the tapestry of divine revelation, reflecting God's dominion and ultimate victory. Beyond its historical role in the plagues of Egypt, Hail takes on multifaceted significance, embodying both glory and majesty in the grand narrative of divine unfolding. The Book of Revelation, a prophetic revelation of God's plan, unveils cosmic phenomena and divine interventions, positioning Hail as a testament to the Almighty's triumphant return and victory over darkness and chaos. Revelation 11 toward 19. The symbolic resonance of Hail echoes poignantly in the poetic verses of Psalms where it assumes a vital role in the symphony of creation, mirroring God's majesty and power. Psalms 18, 12, 13, and Psalms 147, 8, elevate hail to a divine instrument, manifesting God's glory on earth as celestial hailstones fall at His command, emphasizing His divine splendor. As we delve deeper into the biblical imagery of hail, it serves as a poignant reminder that God's sovereignty transcends the bounds of time and history, the anticipation of the Son of God's return resonates throughout the scriptures, embodying a patient and unwavering waiting for the fulfillment of God's promises. Hail, mentioned both in moments of judgment and divine splendor, becomes a timeless emblem, underscoring the enduring nature of God's plan, a plan that spans the ages and heralds the glorious return of the one who patiently awaits the reunion with his people. In contemplating the biblical significance of hail, we are drawn into a profound understanding of God's majestic authority and the eternal nature of His redemptive plan. The biblical symbolism surrounding hail as a manifestation of God's dominion, victory, and divine intervention invites contemplation in the context of the Nagan incident at the Kaaba. The hailstorm that descended upon pilgrims engaged in prayer could be viewed through the lens of biblical imagery, 
prompting reflection on its potential spiritual implications. In the biblical narrative, hail often serves as a sign of divine judgment and, simultaneously, a symbol of God's ultimate salvation. The dual nature of hail aligns with the uncertainty surrounding the Nagan incident, raising questions about whether it conveyed a message of salvation or foretold a divine intervention. As believers ponder the biblical resonance of hail, they may find parallels in the mysterious events at the Kaaba, contemplating the significance of these occurrences within the broader framework of divine communication and spiritual awakening. As the enigma of a woman transforming into a serpent within the sacred ritual of Tawaf unfolded, our sight invites believers to ponder the intricate tapestry of spiritual realms. We acknowledge the existence of both benevolent and malevolent forces, urging believers to approach such mystical occurrences with a discerning spirit. The intricacies of the Nagan phenomenon resonate with the Christian understanding of spiritual discernment, emphasizing the need for believers to navigate the mysterious intersections of the divine and the earthly. The transformative nature of the serpent, a symbol laden with spiritual connotations, beckons Christians to reflect on the deeper implications of such occurrences within the context of sacred spaces. These mysterious events prompt believers to turn to scripture for guidance. The Bible, with its rich tapestry of spiritual narratives, provides a framework for understanding the complexities of spiritual encounters. As we reflect on these incidents, they are encouraged to seek solace and guidance from the teachings of Christ, grounding their understanding in the eternal truths that transcend the ephemeral manifestations of the unknown. Conclusion God may have a plan. In considering the recent catastrophe at the Kaaba, the Christian perspective underscores the importance of humility in the face of the unknown. While the Nagan incident may bear mysterious details, our worldview emphasizes the role of faith, compassion, and spiritual discernment in navigating such occurrences. The Christian response to these events is rooted in prayer, seeking divine guidance and understanding amidst the enigmatic unfolding of spiritual mysteries. We also prompt believers to approach these incidents with a spirit of unity and love, recognizing the diversity of religious beliefs and the shared human experience of seeking meaning in the mysterious facets of existence. As we grapple with the implications of these events, they are called to extend compassion and understanding to those who may interpret them through different lenses. In conclusion, the mysterious details surrounding the Nagan incidents at the Kaaba elicit profound contemplation from our perspective. Grounded in the teachings of Christ, believers navigate the complexities of spiritual encounters with humility, faith, and a discerning spirit. As they reflect on these mysteries, we are called to seek unity, compassion, and divine guidance in the face of the unknown, finding solace in the eternal truths that transcend the temporal manifestations of the mystical.